Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is still Monday, June 21st, and it's 4.26 p.m. And now I'd like to read some letters from Dawn that sound very promising. So I've been saving them. One just came today, and I've been saving the other two. All right, although I deleted some of them. Okay, here we go. This one came in today. I'm just going to start at the top and go down. Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. These are days of readjustment. There are things that you let go of that need to be picked up again. It was right to let go, but now it is right to pick up the pieces and move on and leave your disappointment and discouragement behind. Take your next steps with confidence and hope. So that's for somebody, probably several somebodies, if that means something to you. Great. Praise the Lord. The scripture given is Psalm 31, 24. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All you who hope in the Lord. Okay, the next one is called Be Ready. And it was given on May 19th to Dawn, Dawn Halleck. After I asked Jesus what he wanted to say to me, I heard this. I love you. Be ready every day. For I am coming soon. You are ready when you are living following me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the only way to successful, abundant life. My way is safe and peaceable. And that was the end of that one. All right, this one dated June 21st, um, so she got it today, Let's see, yeah, no, Kev, yeah, that's just from Bev, Bev Robinson, the choice of unbroken fellowship with me and each other <clears throat> is ever present with you, I love you enough not to control you but to give you freedom of choice. You could lay down that which hinders you at this moment. Your heart's deep desire is this fellowship. <clears throat> Excuse me. Satan wants you living in resistance to me and my ways. Yeah, he'd like for us to just turn our backs to Jesus and have nothing more to do with them, wouldn't he? I want you living in submission to me and my ways. My ways bring you peace and joy. Yes, they do. When you know you're living right, you have peace and joy. All right, the verse put with this is 1 John 1 verses 6 and 7, and I think this is the Passion Translation, which I, some of the ones I read I didn't really like. I didn't agree with, you know, it was just me, but, you know, you can look it up in your favorite version. If we claim that we share life with him, but keep walking in the realm of darkness, we're fooling ourselves and not living the truth. But if we keep living in the pure light that surrounds him, we share unbroken fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, continually cleanses us from all sin. See, you got to repent to get cleansed from all sin. And that, it just, 
I'd like to look that up. I'm going to look up 1 John 1, 6 in um, Blue Better Bible. 1 John 1, 6. I'm going to go to NASB 95. If we say that we have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness <clears throat> we lie and do not practice the truth if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin that, okay, so that sounds pretty much like it. But if you're walking in the light, then you are repenting of your sins. This is probably one of those verses, though, that once saved, always saved people use. Because if you just pluck that out, it's called cherry picking. They cherry pick about a dozen verses that mention no repentance but just the blood of Jesus cleansing you from all sin then it said it sounds like that it sounds right doesn't it the next verse says if we say that we have no sin we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us oh hallelujah guess what the next verse is the one I can never remember where it is 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And the 10th verse says, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us praise God thank you Lord for having me to look that up okay so that was let's see the passion translation and that message was given to Bev Robinson or she yeah that would have been coming from God I love you enough not to control you yeah some of these I have figured out are just words of wisdom from these people. And, and they, they probably come with the wisdom from the Holy Spirit. So they write it down and share it because it might help you. All right, this next one was given to Kevin Robinson. Same day. A new day is dawning upon my church. See, their day, their 21st was yesterday. <laughs> okay, just to remind you, this comes from Hong Kong. A new day is dawning upon my church. It's established with multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, multi-layered proportions. It is full of multiple provision of my authority, knowledge, rule, understanding, wisdom, and worship. Expect delivery within all these powers and dominions to increase exponentially. Dawn will flitter about like a hummingbird searching for nectar. Dawn let me repeat that. Dawn will flitter about like a hummingbird searching for nectar. Energy is rising. Noonday sun, noonday sun will rise, revealing everything. Streaks of my glory will manifest like shooting stars in the heavens. Anticipate Genesis brilliance of light. 
Well, that is a strange message. Let me know what your opinion is on it. If the Lord gives you a revelation. Okay, here's the verse he put with it. Luke 1, 78-79 in the Message Bible. Through the heartfelt mercies of our God, God's sunrise will break in upon us, shining on those in the darkness. God's sunrise will break in upon us, shining on those in the darkness, those sitting in the shadow of death, then showing us the way, one foot at a time, down the path of peace. Hmm. Again, that was given to Kevin Robinson. Well, you, you can take that or leave it. It is up to you. I'm, I may share that with the group and find out what they think. Those whispers in the night. This is a new one given to Robin Robinson Bolin. See, this is evidently it's what I've come to. Con I didn't ask, but it's the same names. Like there's got to be a husband and wife. And the husband, Kevin Robinson, and Bev Robinson are married, and Robin Robinson must be his sister. And then, then there's a, 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 a Bev Robinson, who's probably another sister. But I think there's another Bolin that's a guy, but he's not on here a lot. I'm not sure. But anyway... I'm going to ask Dawn that if they're all working together over there in Hong Kong. It makes sense that they would. Okay, those whispers in the night are from me. I don't want you to disregard them or toss them out. Many times they will come to you in the early hours before you awaken. You tend to be so busy during the day and you are bombarded with so many other voices. Therefore, one of my favorite times to speak is while you are lying still. You will know the answers to things when you awaken. That's me. I like that. If you're living right and you're not leaving doors open, because if you are, it could be the, the enemy. So we have to do our spiritual warfare. You can't be leaving doors open. You have to plead the blood of Jesus. Ask for hedges of protection. I have a whole series on spiritual warfare on my YouTube channel. And you can go start watching them. And make sure you don't have open doors from things in your house. Got an old souvenir. Got an old trunk that was grandpa's or great grandpa's. Or you, you're not really sure how you got it. Somebody in the family got it and gave it to you. And hey, some of this old stuff comes with things that need to be kicked out. And it needs to be anointed and plead the blood over it. Or burn it even. Especially if there's continual problems in your home. And you can't figure out why in the world are you continually attacked. Well, things can cause that. Did you know that if you're a clutter bug. I mean, you know, you got pathways in your homes. Because you got so much stuff stacked up. Like a hoarder. Or nearly... Maybe you're not as bad, but you still have way too much clutter. Get rid of it. Because there's some kind of evil spirit that will come in and live in it. 
and and haunt you, so to speak, bother you, disturb your peace, cause you attacks. That that was a new one on me. I just learned that maybe six months ago, maybe a year, but I had not ever heard of it before until recently. Anyway, the verse given with this is Job 33, 14 through 15 in the ESV. For God speaks in one way and in two, though man does not perceive it in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, while they slumber on their beds. How about that? Job 33, 14 through 15. This was given to Robin Robinson Bowling. And that's the end of this one. Um, okay, I'll go ahead and end this one and start a new one. Okay, God bless each and every single one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over the video and over each and every one of you and your devices and all your internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here. And I pray you're found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21 verse 36. Okay, bye for now. I'll be right back.